Hey, I'm Professor Penrod at Peking University. Good for you. When someone says this, what does it mean? Well, it can mean a few different things. For example, it can mean congratulations on your achievement or that's great. Here are some situations with good for you. I passed my geometry test. Good for you. That must have been difficult. I started an exercise class. That's great. Good for you. I just got my driver's license. Good for you. Congratulations. Good for you can also mean something will benefit you. In this case, you need to have a subject followed by a be verb. For example, broccoli is good for you. Apples are good for you. We can also say running is good for you, or more specifically, we can say running is good for your heart. We can also use this expression in the negative sense. For example, smoking is not good for you, or smoking is bad for you. Notes on intonation. If you're responding to someone's good news, you start with high intonation and then it drops off or falls at the end of the sentence. Good for you. For example, I lost 10 pounds. Good for you. When you're using it in a sentence to indicate something is beneficial, you need to emphasize the word good or in the negative sense, emphasize the word not more than good. Not good. For example, a little sugar is good for you. Too much sugar is not good for you. That's all for today on Say It Right in English. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, check out the links below youtube.com at English Free For You or eslgold.com slash humix.